Seven, about what you expected? It, yeah, sure. Okay, <laughs> I yeah. didn't expect anything. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Did you expect the win? Um, that was the goal to get most points for my team, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, but are you pleased with that time? No one, uh, Absolutely. I came okay. here to get original mark and win for my right. team. Right. Okay. If somebody told you two years ago you'd be this dominant, what would you have said? I probably would have laughed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's awesome and it's really surreal. Right. Is there Super a secret, secret to your success? Because, I mean, the way you have come out of, I mean, you, you were good coming, you know, as a high school runner, and, and, but, but now, you know, you're, you're borderline world class and, and just seem to be, a, a, your improvement has just been, you know, leaps and bounds. What can you attribute that to so quick to be improved so quickly? I see number one consistency and staying yeah. healthy and yeah, just honestly running. I didn't run much in high school and once I got to college, I started running and taking yeah. running seriously. It mm. obviously plays off and works out. Mm. What's this year been like for you? Super fun, super surreal. Um, just enjoying my senior year, fourth year here at UF. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's been awesome with all my teammates and I'm super happy to be where I am today. Yeah. What's it like to be able to run as a senior and do it here in Gainesville? It's so it's so awesome. I was saying I feel like it's just gonna it just felt like practice today, like just being out there running in circles. But it was awesome with the home crowd and all of my coaches and teammates being here. And, yeah. When you were you came, you came to school that won like the tour or that wasn't like famous for distance running and, and really really put it on the map. Did you have to take a source of pride in that at all? Or? I wouldn't say it's me at all. Uh -huh. I would say it's Coach Holloway. He knows how to run a track program and get the best distance coaches and kids and. How does he do? How does he do it? Yeah, how does he do with you? What buttons does he push with you? Holloway or Palmer? <laughs> Either one. Uh, they Palmer both. especially, yeah. Um, Holloway tells me my hair looks good before the races, okay. and that really, you know, gives me confidence. Okay. Palmer, um, he knows how to trick me into doing things. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, as, as um. Like, if he, if he wants me to run like a 70 in practice, he'd be like, go out in 73, mm -hmm. knowing I'm going to run 70. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You were, have a lot, had a lot of injuries over you, like, you, know, you almost didn't two years ago you had the broken foot and then last year's the nerve but you got into cross training were you doing much of that before and how how is your training different than is it still different than others happens to you incorporate that no into your... i actually this might like this might be stupid but i didn't know what cross training was until my sophomore year when i broke my foot yeah. and then um my coach Solinsky, told me to go aqua jog and i was like not going in the water and jogging that's so yeah. silly and then I figured out that that worked and then obviously when once I was able to be weight bearing off the crutches I discovered the arc trainer and it rest is history yeah what's been the what was the breakthrough race for you do you think confidence wise that really got you kind of going in this direction um probably my sophomore year at SECs I would say I got fourth um there and during cross country and it was I was like, whoa, like, I guess if I started taking, that was actually the first race I wore spikes at, um, okay. and then I realized that if I put the work in, it would all work out and listen to my coach. Well, what, what did you, in terms of elevating your workouts, or what, I didn't what did really you elevate do? anything. I just started. I mean, after that, I mean, after that. Oh, well, after that. After um, the break, or what did you kind of, did you, how did you continue building from that moment? I really just continued listening to what Slutsky was saying and just okay. consistently working out over time. Consistency is key. It builds up. Do you still incorporate more cross training than just traditional workouts in your training? Or? So workouts, I, all, I do all workouts on the ground, but cross yeah. training, I do like all the easy stuff and yeah. sometimes long runs cross training. So right. most days cross training. Right. When you were hurt, was it the aqua running or anything else that you would incorporate into it for the, like, uh, I did aqua jogging and then, um, well, that was when I had a broken foot. I right. wasn't allowed to be on ground, obviously. Yeah. So I did that a ton. And then, uh, yeah, now I do the arc trainer. Were you surprised? I don't voluntarily go in the pool anymore because I was a swimmer. Yeah. I was a swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> as a swimmer, so it kind of gives me PTSD. So I know you got SCC. Well, this is over. NCAAs. Is Paris on the right arc? Um, sky's the limit. I'm just gonna listen to Palmer and listen to all my coaches and yeah, just follow what they say. Where is that goal wise? Like? Paris. Yes. I'm gonna focus on the NCAA season right now and see where I am after. Okay, you were one. you were pretty adamant on Instagram after the 10K that you know it maybe wasn't necessarily your forte the 25 laps, but you were really good at it. Thank you. Um, so is that something you're going to be looking to double the five and the 10 at regionals and then NCAA's or? Only time will tell. I need to talk with my coaches and yeah, make some decisions. All right, guys. Well, thank, thank you. you for